First and foremost, I would describe myself as an artist. I enjoy making tiny artworks on, on people's nails. I'm Nathan and I run Buff Bar Bristol. I live here with my partner, a housemate, and our dog, Colin, and I do nails. I was craving a space that was calm, especially people that haven't had their nails done before find the idea of going to a nail bar actually quite intense and a bit scary. And that's the reason why lots of my clients come here. It feels a bit, a bit more homely than um, your average nail bar. The industry is incredibly gendered, so I hope that what I'm doing here is kind of breaking through that. You know, it's small things like asking people what their pronouns are, not assuming, you know, that, uh, that someone is a certain sexuality or gender or, you know. There are not a lot of places that um, queer people and trans people can go and be around other queer and trans people <laughs> that isn't just surrounded by alcohol and drinking culture and partying. It provides like this really lovely um, space for, for us to like meet up and hang out and chat and um, Lots of my clients talk about their lives and their troubles and their worries and their stresses. Sometimes all that they need is, is just like a listening ear. So I find that like most people by the end of a treatment feel quite relaxed. Sometimes people will fall asleep, which is really lovely. You're not looking at your phone because your, your nails are wet. I hope that people can take just some time for themselves really. Actually doing nails is hard work. It's, it's an intense thing to do. You're holding a space for someone. It's physically demanding, you know? There's lots of like bending over and concentrating on a tiny little space for like a really long time. It's tricky, but also it's so worth it. Yeah, I think I really enjoy it. <laughs> I really enjoy it. <laughs>